Hi guys, I am Christy and this is Created by Christy. Today we are going to do water slides. Um, I'm gonna make some Christmas ornaments with some uh, different materials. So the first material we're using, like I said, is water slides. This is the one I got. I got it on Amazon. I think 20 sheets was, I wanna say like 14 bucks, um, but they're clear. And then the next thing we are using are these tiles from Lowe's. And you can see they're um, just a fun shaped tile. The tile itself is, oh God, I can't see. Let's see. <laughs> Satori Hudson Brilliant White 12 by 12 Porcelain Lantern Mosaic Tile. So that's what we're using. So the first thing I've done is I designed what I wanted to do on my Cricut machine and then I flattened it so that I could print it out onto the water slide um, because that's what keeps you from doing all those little intricate cuts. It just flattens it and it prints it onto the water slide paper. So this is one, I don't know if you can see, oh, bright white, bright white. This is a quarantine ornament that I am making so it's got sorts of fun reminders of this crazy year that we've lived through. So once I, um, sorry, once I print it onto the water slide paper, the next step is for me to go out in my garage. Let me repeat, out in my garage, unless you want to have so many paint fumes in your face, you cannot breathe. So I'm gonna go out in my garage, um, spray a clear acrylic on top of it, and I'm gonna do two coats of that. And then once we're done with that, we'll come back and we'll go to the next step. Okay, so now I have the water slide complete with two coats of the spray acrylic on it. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is cut it out, staying as close to the design as possible. And then once I do that, I'm gonna drop it in the water and then transfer it onto the slide. So I'm gonna bring you down so you can see what happens. how it fits on there. So I've got my ornament here, and then I'm just gonna check here. So I need to take it in a little there and take it in a little there. And then up around the 20, 20. Alright, so now I'm going to take it and I'm going to place it on again, and it is perfect. So now what I'm going to do is, this is just a little water right here. Go ahead and drop it in there and let it start to separate. And take some alcohol and clean the top of that ornament. And then what I like to do is slide it a little bit to see if it's moving yet. Right. Usually goes way quicker than that, but. Okay, 
now we're ready. See how it starts to slip and slide? Let me go ahead and move that out of the way. Put the ornament here. And then what you're gonna do is just start to pull it so that it slides onto the paper and the paper falls out. So you want to scoot it so that you're getting all of your water out from underneath that lower level or from between the ornament and the water slide. And it still will move around, so you have to be careful. That's why you see me holding it on one side when I'm positioning it on the other. Make sure you get all your little wrinkles out, water bubbles, because once it starts to set, you're not gonna be able to move it anymore. Alrighty. And then we're just gonna let it um, dry. Okay, so now I have the ornaments all laid out and I have mixed up some epoxy resin and that's what I'm gonna coat the top of them with. You could probably do a spray acrylic. I just like the way the epoxy looks and since I have it, why not use it? Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on time lapse so you can see that next step. So now that I have got the epoxy spread over um, the ornaments, the next thing I need to do is put some heat on it to pop the bubbles. You can do that with a heat gun, a hair dryer. My heat gun happens to be in the garage, so I'm just using this propane torch. And you just wanna go over it lightly. You can see the bubbles start to pop as you do it. And then you just let it dry. And then we'll come back tomorrow and we'll do the backing. Okay, for the final step, we've got it all here nice. It's got that nice shellac on the top of it. And then I'm simply going to take hot glue, the little here. And then I've pre-cut my ribbon, which I'm now gonna I always cheat and use another glue stick to like push it in place so I don't burn myself. And then, really? I'm just gonna go ahead and put the glue around the rest of the ornament. And then I've cut a piece the same shape that I will then just press over the back so that it gives it that nice smooth finish. And I just have to put a bow on everything. It's who I am, I accept it. So I put a little and finish it off there. off all your glue strings. Oh, come on. There we go. Alrighty, and then that's it. It is ready to hang on your tree to commemorate this miserable year. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching. As always, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.